Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Tuesday, the 2nd of March, 2021. We're using Bonefire Tarot for our message today. Our cards from the bottom of the deck. This is our overall theme for the day, according to the tarot cards. We're starting with the Seven of Coins. I love this card. This card used to vex me, though. I will share. <laughs> Uh, I always felt it was a card of waiting and that became frustrating. So I now see this card for the beautiful bounty that it is. It's a seven, so it's heaven touching earth within us. And it's the promise of a harvest. And you can see that the harvest is on the vine in this card. And this is a card that picks up some of the message out of yesterday's reading where we are seeing so much beautiful flow weaving together of energies with the Ten of Cups present in that. And I think we had the Knight of Cups too. We had the Empress, the Emperor, the Queen, and the King of Pentacles. So there was a lot of balance, a lot of harmony there. Uh, harmonization of Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine within ourselves. And with the King and the Queen of Pentacles, we have the celebration of now and an eye for the oncoming. And that's what I feel this seven is all about, the eye for what's developing, what's maturing, uh, what's in our heart space harvest, right? Coming with our seven of coins, we now have the hanged man, beautiful. Enlightenment, this card is all about enlightenment and it's about taking a pause in the action for enlightenment. So take a pause today and take in and take in, garner your gains for the harvest you have in the heart space, what is coming there and bring your present enlightenment to it and allow for yourself to be informed by it. Coming with this, Knight of Coins, one of my favorite knights too. Uh, you know, he's got the reputation for being a slow poke and a little bit boring. <laughs> he's anything but, you know, he really does take a look at everything. He gets the full scope, the full picture. And sitting right there next to the hanged man, we're, we are gaining enlightenment, expanding our enlightenment, by having an appreciation for the process we are experiencing, the multitude of processes we are experiencing, right? So the overall theme cards are suggesting that we take it a little bit slow and take it easy and just stay tuned in, tapped into the enlightenment that the atmosphere has to offer us. You know, I think we saw the Eight of Wands in yesterday's reading, and the feeling on that one was a divine download, uh, you know, being informed by the universe, by divine source, divine order. And if we weren't able to pause to take all that in yesterday, it's going to cycle through today according to these cards. And then we have, look at that, looky here, the Three of Swords. You've been seeing a bit of this card lately. It seems to be sticking around. It's a good sign though. It's I know it's one of the cards everybody has a gasp over. They'd rather not see it in a tarot reading. Uh, this is a card to be welcomed though because it's speaking to pain, loss, and sorrow of the past. And it's it's a point of reflection. So here we are with the seven of coins. Pause, appreciate, savor. Here we are with the hanged man. Enlightenment, garner your gains. Pause in the action. Hang out there for a bit and receive what the universe has to offer you. And then we have our slowest night of all. Pausing yet again, getting a lay of the land, seeing the whole picture. And squeezing every bit of goodness out of your experiences. So the three of swords here is not pain, loss, and sorrow of now. It is a nice healthy dose of contrast for where you stand today and where you once stood. And having some enlightenment appreciation for your journey 
and for how much you have healed out of your prior Three of Swords life experience. And that's not always comfortable in the present moment to be reminded or have a reflection of those times, though it gets a whole lot more comfortable when you are in true appreciation for your journey. Again, where you stand today. Let's see what's next. <laughs> I guess the cards want to uh, hammer a point home. We've got the Nine of Wands, and this is a card of endurance. It says, go the distance. Don't stop now. Don't quit here. So don't lose faith for what you're holding in hard space and have no evidence for today. And if you are finding yourself in a particularly challenging aspect of your spiritual journey within self-relationship, know that it is worth going the distance for because you're going to set down an energy you can't carry any longer. Don't even want to carry any longer. May not have known you were carrying it and you're at a point of letting go. So here's the big let go card in tarot as well as don't stop here. Yes, pause in the action, have appreciation, get a dose of the contrast and perspective from that and that perspective will be enlightening and use that energy to, to bolster yourself to go the distance here on the nine because that nine becomes the 10 of wands and that 10 of wands is when you really let go and set down the burden if it's a burden. And then we have, look at this, our beautiful eight of coins. So now we have the seven and the eight of coins in the reading. Really sweet, but you know this eight is doing the work of your soul. And the three is letting us know that that's not always a comfortable process, but it's worth doing. You know, the knight of coins too brings the message of slow and steady wins the race, right? So. Sometimes that's required. We don't think we have it, but keep going one little step at a time. It is the work of your soul. It's so worthwhile. Coming next is the queen of coins. We're making something out of this, something really good. She was in yesterday's reading and she's accompanied by the emperor. Also in yesterday's reading. So bring your wisdom, bring your know-how and bring the totality and wealth of your experience to what is unfolding here. And add that to your faith for what you don't have evidence for in this moment. Trust yourself. That's the message that's coming out of the center of these, the reading for me. And then we have six of coins. Everything's harmonized, everything's balanced. And this is a good, this is a great card actually to remind us of staying in energy that is reciprocal, right? So we could pitch ourselves into some vast void of darkness on that three. And we've done that in the past. We've just, that's it, throwing in the towel, I'm pulling the covers over my head, I'm done. We're not persevering. We are persevering now. And we are contributing to energies that are blessing us. And sometimes our contribution looks like the Three of Swords, but it's what has to go to make way for everything that we saw in yesterday's reading. Mm -hmm. And then look at this, Six of Wands, victory and success, homecoming to your own heart space, achievement even. So dig in deep for whatever the final push is to crest this spiritual life lesson journey hill and you will feel all that beautiful enlightenment you will be able to recognize your own endurance you will be able to feel the blessing and the reward of everything that you contribute even when you don't have the evidence there's nothing there's no sign there's no symbol on the horizon this is the reading that says, hang in there and keep going. Darkest before the dawn kind of moment. So I've, I've experienced a touch of this myself. <laughs> Might be a little bit of an understatement. In the, in the past few days though, what has come out of that, uh, recognizing an old pattern in myself, an old way of thinking that I didn't even know I was hanging on to, didn't know it was there. It was truly one of those, a fish doesn't know it's in water moments. And voila, you know, 
enlightenment, realization dawns, having one of those wow moments with the self and then recognizing, yeah, I can let that go. And geez, that wasn't pretty, but hey, I'm on the other side of it and there's more room for love, light, bliss, joy, and happiness just for having made the journey. So keep going, folks. If you find yourself in a similar situation, I know that astrologically speaking, we have some influences that will bring these types of situations up for us just so we can let them go. So the astrology is very stimulating. Use it. Use it to your advantage. Use it to your benefit because if you have been enduring something, the new question comes in, wouldn't you rather be enjoying something instead of looking at it through an old pattern, an old thought process? We all know the easy answer to that. <laughs> the journey through, though, gets interesting. So dig in, go for it. Don't stop now. Know this is the work of your soul. Know that you are the harvest. You are the bounty on the vine. There's so much more of you to uncover, to, to bring to the light. So blessings on that journey for each and every one of us. All right, let's do angel answers. An opportunity to ask a question. Receive confirmation of something or a fresh message. <laughs> oh, how perfect. This one, we have remain positive and trust. Just saying, trust yourself, trust the journey. Coming next, we have our sweet, simple yes. This one connects to me for intuition. So if you've had an intuitive hit on something and you were a little unsure, we have a sweet, simple yes there. And then one more. I love it, I love it, I love it. Take action, no stagnation. And that that's a message that came out of yesterday's reading too. There was no energy that was stagnated, hanging around. Uh, sluggish. Energy was definitely moving swiftly yesterday and today we're being asked to pause a bit and appreciate what washed up on the shore of our consciousness as a result of that swift moving energy. Uh, perfect. Here's our affirmation for the day. I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great. Yeah, connect with your soul tribe. Talk to those people today. Make a few phone calls. Send a few text messages. Reach out and inspire one another to be great. All right. Have a great day. Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. Peace, love, joy, happiness to each and every one of you. Namaste and bye for now.